This is a photo shoot for the cover of Sports Illustrated in 1964, showing a row of ready-to-launch runners with mile-high coiffed hair. The female runners were members of the Texas Track Club of Abilene, founded by Margaret Ellison in 1961. This meticulously curated look was how Margaret presented her team at every competition. A man looking at a window display of radios in New York City during the 1940s. Radios were a central source of entertainment and information in the 1940s. They played a crucial role in disseminating news, music, and popular culture, making them an integral part of households. The iconic photograph of the Beatles preparing to cross Abbey Road for the album cover shot in August 1969 is a historic image that has become synonymous with both the band and the 20th century popular culture. Abbey Road is a famous street in London, particularly known for the recording studios of the same name where the Beatles recorded many of their albums. The zebra crossing in front of Abbey Road Studios became an iconic location. Muhammad Ali with his in-car vinyl record player from 1960. The presence of an in-car vinyl record player showcases Ali's personal style and interests. During the 1960s, portable record players allowed individuals to enjoy music while on the go, and this reflects Ali's taste and lifestyle. Monroe's personal life was marked by a series of marriages and relationships, including marriages to Joe DiMaggio and playwright Arthur Miller. Her personal struggles and tragic death at the age of 36 in 1962 contributed to her legendary status. A young woman tending at a Walgreens drugstore in Boise, Idaho in 1958. Walgreens is a well-known American drugstore chain. Drugstores played a significant role in communities, serving as places not only for medical needs, but also as social hubs. The image of members of the USS Constellation aircraft carrier enjoying a picnic on the flight deck and swimming in the Gulf of Tonkin in 1968 provides a unique perspective on the daily lives of servicemen during the Vietnam War. Detroit, in the 1940s, was a dynamic and bustling city that played a pivotal role in the industrial and cultural landscape of the United States. Detroit, often referred to as the Motor City, was at the heart of the automotive industry. The city was home to major automobile manufacturers, including Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler. 1969 marked a pivotal moment in Elvis's career with the airing of his television special Elvis, later commonly known as the 68 Comeback Special. The special, which aired in December 1968, revitalized his career and showcased his musical talent. The cloche hat is a fitted, bell-shaped hat that became extremely popular in the 1920s and continued to be a fashionable accessory into the early 1930s. It was characterized by its close fit to the head and its downturned brim that partially covered the wearer's forehead. Elizabeth Montgomery, as Samantha Stevens in Bewitched, left an indelible mark on television history. Bewitched was a popular American sitcom that aired from 1964 to 1972. The show revolved around Samantha Stevens, a witch who marries a mortal man, Darren Stevens, and tries to live a normal suburban life despite her magical abilities. Drying Pasta in Italy in 1929. Drying pasta is a crucial step in the production process. It allows the pasta to lose moisture and achieve the desired texture for cooking. Traditional pasta 
is often air-dried rather than being machine-dried. The 1954 Ford FX Atmos was a futuristic concept car that showcased innovative design and automotive technology of its time. The overall styling of the FX Atmos embraced the space-age aesthetic popular in the 1950s. It had sleek lines, a streamlined body, and futuristic details that captured the imagination of the era. A Coca-Cola truck making its rounds in France in 1950. In the post-World War II period, Coca-Cola was in the midst of its global expansion. The company sought to establish its brand and products in various countries, including France. Frederick R. Dimbleby was a distinguished English journalist and broadcaster who played a significant role in the early years of the BBC. During World War II, Dimbleby served as the BBC's first war correspondent. He reported from various theatres of war, providing radio broadcasts to the British public about the events unfolding during the conflict. The introduction of the compact disc, CD, to the world in March 1979. Jupe Sinju, a key figure at Philips, played a prominent role in introducing the compact disc to the world. He was involved in the collaboration with Sony to develop this new audio format. Cement truck crash near Wingenon, Oklahoma in 1971 and its subsequent transformation into a painted structure resembling a NASA space capsule has become a quirky and well-known local legend. A labeling machine at the original Heinz factory in Pittsburgh in 1901. The H.J. Heinz company, founded by Henry John Heinz, was established in 1869. The company became known for its commitment to quality and innovation in food processing, particularly in the production of condiments and pickled products. Rossi Mendoza, born on June 6, 1950, is a Mexican vedette, actress, dancer and singer known for her contributions to the entertainment industry particularly in the realm of Mexican sex comedies during the 1970s and 1980s. Logging drivers near Glens Falls, New York, on the Hudson River in 1907. One common method of transporting logs from forested areas to mills was by water. Rivers served as natural transportation routes and logs were floated downstream to their destination. Joy Lansing was an American model, film and television actress, and nightclub singer, best known for her pin-up photos and roles in B-movies. The photograph taken by Dorothea Lang in March 1937 captures a poignant moment in the lives of families affected by the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl was a severe environmental disaster that affected the southern plains of the United States during the 1930s. Prolonged drought, coupled with poor agricultural practices, led to severe soil erosion and dust storms, displacing many families. The electric and musical industries, EMI, quality control room around 1965, would have been a critical space within the company's facilities, dedicated to ensuring the high standards of audio recordings and productions. Woman scrubbing the kitchen floor with brushes attached to her feet while reading is a snapshot of domestic life in the 1950s, reflecting the ingenuity and multitasking efforts of individuals during that era. This photograph was taken on March 22, 1944, in Bassinborn, England, during World War II. The bomber crew member is wearing a flak vest, displaying the ripped suit, highlighting the dangers faced during their missions. Flak vests were designed to provide some protection against anti-aircraft artillery 
commonly referred to as flak. Workers laying bricks to pave 28th Street in Manhattan in October 1930. The construction work depicted involves manual labor with workers placing each brick carefully to create a durable and visually appealing road surface. In the 1950s, Betty Page became entangled in legal issues related to her involvement in bondage photography. She faced legal challenges and at one point disappeared from the public eye. Men of the Rhine Motor Transport Company, Army Service Corps, billeted in a brewery near Cologne on the 8th of April, 1919. The Rhine Motor Transport Company was likely a unit within the Army Service Corps, responsible for logistical support and transportation. In the post-war period, such units played a crucial role in the occupation and reconstruction efforts. Led Zeppelin's association with the Chateau Marmont in 1969. Led Zeppelin was a British rock band formed in 1968, consisting of Robert Plant, vocals, Jimmy Page, guitar, John Paul Jones, bass keyboard, and John Bonham, drums. They became one of the most influential and successful rock bands in history. The Yakut people are the largest ethnic group in the Saka Republic, which is part of the Russian Federation. They have a distinct cultural and linguistic identity and are known for their resilience in harsh climatic conditions. That was all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed. Until next time, safe travels.